Oh, man. Welcome back to another featured garage vlog, where today we're going to be installing an electronic solenoid into the CRX so that we can command boost by gear. Now, before we get into all of that, let's take a look at the solenoid, see how it works, and see how it's going to work in this application. Okay, real quick, the solenoid is going to have two main components that we're concerned with. The coil and a movable armature. Now, how this works is the coil is going to sit over the armature, and as it's energized with a current, it's going to create a magnetic field that moves the armature. In our case, the armature is going to act as a valve that controls the air going to the wastegate. So how a wastegate works is it's going to typically receive a signal from the compressor side of the turbo. Once it gets that signal, it's going to actuate a flapper on the turbine housing of the turbo, allowing gases to bypass the turbine wheel and controlling boost pressures. Now let's say we want more boost pressure, but we don't have an electronic solenoid. This is what I've been using on the CRX. It's an Ace Hardware Motorsports boost controller. All it is, it's a brass T fitting with two nipples, a ball bearing, and a spring with its tension controlled by a screw. The spring tension becomes tighter and requires more boost to actuate. Now, this controller has its merits in that it's cheap and totally functional, but it has an inherent design flaw. The problem with it is that the wastegate actuator will not see signal from zero to your target boost pressure, in my case, 15 PSI. Now, this is okay in a car that is tuned for higher boost pressures and the engine can handle it, but it's just not good practice to have sudden uncontrolled power increases. So enter the electronic solenoid. How this is going to work is we're still going to have the standard um, signal going into the wastegate actuator, but in my case, I have a two port actuator. There's gonna be a port on the bottom and a port up top. The bottom port is going to receive the standard pressure signal, while the top port is going to receive air coming from the solenoid that's going to push back down on the valve, keeping it closed until the target boost pressure is achieved. But it's not going to just slam open with it like this controller will. It will gradually open up to 15 PSI instead of spiking. Also, I'm going to be able to control boost by gear, so I don't have to run 15 PSI in first and second gear and constantly roast the tires while I'm trying to accelerate. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and install the solenoid. I don't think I'm going to record it. It's a pretty quick and straightforward process. But once it's in, I'll get back on camera and we'll talk about the tuning. All right, so the solenoid is plumbed and wired. Uh, I made a little bracket there just to give it a, a secure mounting location. Got everything plumbed correctly from the turbo to the two ports on the wastegate. So now it's time to get in the car and uh, figure out what duty cycle creates what boost pressure. From there, I can uh, build my boost by gear tables. Okay, earlier in the video, I said I wasn't going to uh, record me installing the solenoid because it was a very straightforward process and I didn't think that would make for a very good video. Well, it is a straightforward process, but on the Honda P28 ECU, there are some components you need to solder into the board to make sure you have um, the ability to control pulse width modulation. And I don't have those components. So they're in route. They should be here sometime this week, hopefully by Friday. And uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and get those installed. I'll show you the, the install for that, the putting the components in this board, and then show you the process for tuning pulse width modulation and setting up a boost controller to control boost by gear in this car. Later on, Disco and I are going to be installing a traction bar in this car. And this is all in preparation for January the 8th, where we're gonna go back to uh, Emerald Coast Dragway to try to beat Zach's ass. Now, I know that's kind of funny, you know, with my goal being a station wagon and, and beating that, but Zach's station wagon's pretty fast. I mean, that, that Volvo can move out. Also, stay tuned to the channel because at the end of this month, me and a bunch of other people, we're gonna go out and we're gonna film and photograph an event, a two day long event that I think you're really gonna love. Um, I'm super stoked for it and it's gonna be probably a multi-part video release uh, the end of January, maybe the first week of February. So again, stay tuned for that. It's gonna be awesome and I can't wait to show you guys. So until next time. Gucci, that's my motherfucking nigga.